Well, we got all the libertarians here. In fact, I said one bomb would take out virtually all of southeastern Pennsylvania's greatest libertarians. Because we have a lot of great libertarians here today. And we're going to be doing several things here. We're going to be celebrating not just the season, but also a lot of our accomplishments over the last year. Because we have awards we're going to give out. And in fact, when we said we were going to be giving out awards, a lot of people said, yeah, right. No, no, there's a lot of serious awards that we're going to be giving out. But before we do that, what I would like to do is just mention a couple of the things that have happened this year alone in Montgomery County. We had our, our county meeting a few days ago, and we sat there and we couldn't believe all the stuff we have done. In fact, it, it fits on a couple of pages. For example, we helped free New Jersey Weed Man. With the help of people like Jim Bad and Mike Salvi, we did the Philly Freedom Fest with Ron Paul over five. out there spreading the word of freedom. For example, Jim Babb spoke at Nullify Now in Philly, Restoring Freedoms in Wilkes-Barre, the Manhattan Libertarian Party, and Democracy Unplugged, where he represented nobody for president. <laughs> Liberty Forum up in New Hampshire. I was also at Restoring Freedoms with Jim and Wilkes-Barre. I spoke to New York 912 groups to the Montgomery County Tea Party. And, and it's only just some of it. We also did jurors' rights outreach at Montgomery County Courthouse over a dozen times. That's this year alone. And one of the big ones, and Mike, I'm not going to embarrass you. We shut down a DUI checkpoint in Abington County. <laughs> not only that, but Darren Wolf, raise your hand, Darren, the international libertarian. He took a video of what happened. He was our videographer. How many hits have you got so far? 21,000. 21,000. We had the, yes. remember when the, when the cop had the Puerto Rican woman? We had the, who would Jesus punch in the face rap? Yeah. <laughs> when they threw Jesus the hand out, they wouldn't even let him buy a t-shirt. Oh, oh, yeah. What else? We did our... <laughs> I, I would raise my glass, man. <laughs> There's just so many things that we've done. And there, there's even more. What else we got? We did this year. We did the 18th annual Montgomery County Libertarian Party Hospitality Suite at the Libertarian Party State Convention. Now you're not supposed to applaud. The Libertarian Party of Pennsylvania is like. No, I mean, they're like so. What was that? It was a good party. <laughs> Never mind. It was a good party. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Thank you. What else? We they had a gun buyback in Montgomery County. What we did is we contacted all the local gun shops and said. Hey, you want to set up a booth right in front of theirs and do appraisals and buy these guns for what they're worth and put them back on the streets. <laughs> there's more stuff. I ran for state rep. I mean, there's just like a million things. But in terms of the political arena, we have somebody. When you look at the top 25 libertarians who run for office in Pennsylvania, Different people got different amounts of votes. Like for example, when I ran for governor of Pennsylvania, I came in about number 17, number 18 in Loser. terms of votes. <laughs> I mean winner, winner. But when you look at the list of who the top vote getters are, nobody! Some names appear once on the list, like Henry Haller, who's my running mate for governor. Some of you appear twice on the list, like myself or Mary Kay Rogers. But there is only one libertarian who appears three times on the top 25. Matter of fact, she's number two, number three, and number 11. And she's in the room here with us tonight looking rather modest. <laughs>
11. Number 11? Do you know what? I, I left the list in the back of the room. It was for... Auditor General. Au Auditor, Auditor General. Auditor General of State Senate. U.S. Senate. Back in 2004. But there's all sorts of... Lots of people. Lots of things going on in the Libertarian movement. There's more going on here in southeastern Pennsylvania than there is anywhere else in the state of Pennsylvania, and probably for six states all around. And a lot of it is because of the people in this very room. So we're here tonight to recognize a lot of those people. And I'll leave my glasses on others, I'm not going to see them. So, to award the first two prizes, and these aren't just joke prizes, I mean these are real prizes with real value, not just empty promises. So to award the first two, I'd like to call up the chairman of the Montgomery County Libertarian Committee, even though he doesn't live in Montgomery County, no problem, hey we're libertarians, we can do it. Please join me in welcoming Steve Sheets. Wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say first off that I'm really happy and really honored to be sharing the room with all of you here tonight. And it does, it does kind of warm my heart a bit to have every one of you, most of you I've known for years, some of you I've met just fairly recently. It's very cool. The first award I'm going to deliver tonight is actually to a woman who despite the corrupt electoral process, which has been bought and paid for by Republicans and Democrats, she managed to persuade 200,000 people to cast their vote. I'm sorry, 210,000 people. 651. <laughs> Four votes for my household alone. <laughs> That's the only reason they voted. Excellent, excellent. But why is this? Why do people vote for Betsy Summers? We love her. Hold on, Woo! hold on, hold on. Is it because she's a libertarian? Pretty lady. Is it because she's a beautiful woman? It's because of a lot of things. All of the above. But most of these people in this room will say, point blank, that Betsy Summers inspires in each of us the core of libertarian values. At the end of the day, the whole purpose of a libertarian in the state of Pennsylvania is to promote the cause of liberty and to educate everyone that they possibly can that there is another way to live besides the way in which we have been living. Betsy Summers embodies that. And tonight, it gives me great honor to give her the Maji Award for the best use of the corrupt electoral system. <laughs> yeah. I saw you on TV, you were in this debate, 
and I really would wish that you people would would do more research before you say things like the Turnpike Commission has a humongous bureaucracy. <laughs> he said, we serve more miles a road with less people than ever before. And I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe a guy from the Turnpike Commission is writing me. <laughs> So I'm reading through this thing, you know, we have no waste and mismanagement and, and what you are saying is all false. And then he signs his name and he is the director of public relations and marketing for the Turnpike Commission. <laughs> Who is this idiot related to in Harrisburg? Because only somebody that stupid would not realize that he is the friggin' problem. He is why I keep fighting, because this idiot is so stupid that he even emailed me not realizing I mean why does the Turnpike Commission need public relations and marketing what do they do go to Ohio and New Jersey and say please use my road ridiculous so but I want to say yeah, it, this sign should have said, vote for Betsy and nobody else because <laughs> Montgomery County sucked in my percentages. Oh. <laughs> Montgomery County, Philadelphia County, and Delaware County, all across the state, I was probably in an average of 5%. In Wilkes-Barre alone, I got 9.5%. So, next time that Betsy's on the ballot, I expect Montgomery County to be way up there. But we don't vote. Ah, vote for Betsy. Vote for Betsy. Vote for Betsy. Pay attention. We've been over this. Because it doesn't, the word does not get out unless that name is going across on the screen. And, and if I had gotten 5% in Philadelphia, Delaware, and Montgomery County, who knows what my numbers would have been. And, and people would have been saying, whoa, look at that. Who, who is that? Oh, look, it's an, a liberal. Because <laughs> right? right. that's what they say when they see that out. But you guys are great down here, and there's no reason for that. So next time. No reason time, to be great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's, no reason, there's no reason to have one percent in Montgomery County really? for Libertarian. Only one percent. Only one percent. Wow. We are the ninety-nine percent. <laughs> so apparently we're the one percent. We're sorry, <laughs> but this means a lot to me, and thank you very much. Well then, because the microphone doesn't seem to be working all that well, the second award, the second Monty Award that we're going to be giving, also has to do with the corrupt electoral process bought and paid for by the Republicans and Democrats. <clears throat> Most of us in this room are aware that the GOP has been doing their best to throw libertarians off the ballot. Is there anybody in this room who's not aware of that? I'm hearing crickets. I'm hearing crickets. Well, in 2012, a dedicated group of volunteers have done something that truly I had no idea could be done. I was thinking, yeah, at the end of this election cycle, our candidates, our statewide candidates, are getting thrown off the ballot, and that's going to be that, and the GOP is going to win, and whatever. Imagine my shock and surprise to find out that 
The GOP failed! Woo! Come on! The GOP failed! We had a dedicated group of volunteers who went down and read each name on each petition and came up with the magic number to get all of our statewide candidates on the ballot. Including Betsy. Including Betsy. Yeah. And my God, I was thrilled. I was amazed and I just could not believe how much effort, how much work went into this. So, the LPPA would not have any way of saying we have done anything today were it not for the effort of these volunteers. Am I wrong? You are correct. I am correct, am I? Richard Schwartz. Would you please come down here? Yeah. Richard Schwartz. His tireless effort, along with those of numerous other volunteers, made us be able to say that we could be on the ballot in 2012. Richard Shores, this ounce of silver and this Monty is for you. Well, certainly I didn't do it alone. There were, I think, in total 85 volunteers in addition to some paid temps that helped us in this defense of our Libertarian Party challenge. And, you know, at the end of the day, after we had gone out and, and bought the best quality signatures that money can buy, <laughs> But uh, let me ask, was there, I, I know Chuck is back there, I think Lou came down, Betsy, you were there. Yeah. Were there any other volunteers in this room that, uh... John. John. Okay, John, and... Okay, great. So th there were a couple other people in this room, and that's awesome, so I accept this on behalf of all of you. Share the silver. I'll buy you a beer if you, if you like. Um, <laughs> The thing that was amazing about this was that uh, I didn't think it could be done, that we would have 20 volunteers. The, the process was absolutely enormous. What they, what they demanded that we do, what we were ordered by the court to do, we had to defend a petition of about 50,000 signatures, of which the Republicans objected to about 40,000 signatures. These are rough numbers. And we had to show up, and 90% of these signatures were collected in Philadelphia. So we spent the bulk of this time in Philadelphia at the Department of Elections on Spring Garden Street and Delaware Avenue. And we had a team, 20 teams. We had to present 20 volunteers every day for about two weeks. And we were all lined up with a Libertarian, a Republican, and a Department of Elections employee. And one by one, we went through each line on the petition that they had objected to, and we looked it up in the voter registration database to see if it was a registered voter or not and it was a legitimate signature. It's a truly incredible process. And my one regret through this whole thing was when it was over, and I know Chuck was Chuck Moulton was with me at the uh, on the last day, and Chuck certainly devoted a lot of hours to this too, that it all kind of ended with a whimper when we were in Common, Commonwealth Court and the lawyers all just left and we collected the court case and it was like, oh, we won. <laughs> oh, we won? My biggest regret was, because this was after the, the, the two weeks and because the Republicans that we had to work with were just so... Nasty. Nasty, they were smug, they were vile, and, and it's just kind of a shame that we didn't get to stick it in their face once it was, was finally over. But, but we did end up victorious. It's a, it's a major victory for the Libertarian Party of Pennsylvania, and it's something that should pay dividends years future, because they will think twice. They probably spent 10 to 1 what we spent on this case. So they, they did lose a lot of money. They were, they were really sure they were going to win, and they didn't. So it's, it's a major victory that if you didn't want to vote for nobody, and you wanted to vote for somebody like Betsy, you <laughs> were
serious awards for serious accomplishments against serious people. This is amazing stuff. And there are still more. <laughs> so far, that's the first two of the Monty Awards. And to deliver the third Monty Award, I'd like to call up somebody who himself deserves a Monty Award. The man known as the International Libertarian who has given interviews internationally, done it locally, and I know you're waiting for this, he's a Toastmaster. <laughs> as was Richard Schwartz, as was Steve. <laughs> Everybody who's coming up here so far has been a Toastmaster, and for those of you who don't know, quick commercial. Toastmasters is an international organization that teaches public speaking and leadership skills. If you're scared to death to stand up here and talk in front of people, like I used to be, I'm only warming up! Come on! Mute. <laughs> Anyway, our Libertarian Toastmasters Club meets the second Monday over at the Inquirer building in Conshohocken. You can find us, just go on the web, type in toastmasters.org. Changed my life. Made me the sort of person who can stand up here and do MCs and things like that. But we're not here to talk about Toastmasters, great though it is. We're here to hand out the rest of the Monty Awards, and as I was saying, our next awarder is also an internet he's the international libertarian also a toastmaster and the man with 21,000 hits so far on the videography when we shut down the dui checkpoint join me welcoming darren wolf not yet i forgot to mention danielle is selling 50 50 tickets where are you yeah. at danielle where's your hand where are you danielle uh, Corinne selling them too. No. Uh, all right, Corinne selling. Yeah. Raise your hand. Somebody. Corinne. Corinne filling in. After we're done here, we're going to be doing the 50-50 tickets. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. So 50-50. <laughs> hey, this Toastmasters thing. Yeah, it's not, I'm I real good. I don't know. <laughs> all right, thank you, Dan. And You're welcome. Thank you to all of your buying raffle tickets. May as well. <laughs> You know, I was thinking I should have you guys guess who I'm supposed to give an award to, but in keeping with the spirit of that libertarian holiday party fight thread that I started on Facebook, I have to say, you're wrong! So I won't do that. I'll be, I'm going to be nice. I'm not going to put everybody through that here today. Yes, this Monty Award that I'm presenting uh, to, uh, this person is somebody very accomplished. Somebody is one of the intellectual leaders here. Somebody who really puts his money where his mouth is. Somebody who has really stood up to tyranny unflinchingly, not backing down. Spoken at many an event, written books such as The Greatest Superstition and The Iron Web. Okay, now people start to figure out who it is, aren't they? So it is definitely a great honor for me to present the Monty Award for. We are we are anarchists after all. I can't be too prepared. The Monty Award for excellence in libertarian philosophy goes to Mr. Larkin Rose. I'll be relatively quick here, uh, which will be a first. It always strikes me as weird that what I do is called philosophy, because most of what I do is explain things to people that every five-year-old instinctively understands. That's philosophy. Literally, go onto a, a, a playground. Now, Johnny, you understand that it's bad to go hit Fred? Yeah. But you understand that if Fred hits you, it's okay to defend yourself? Yeah, good, you're a libertarian. Yeah. Yeah. Now get the hell out of school before they mess you up. <laughs> and do you understand, Bobby, that if something isn't right for you to do, you can't make it right for Fred to do that, right? Right, good, now you're an anarchist. Outstanding. <laughs> Now, at 
I'm going to step away from you. I'm loud enough without that thing. What? Um, <laughs> at a lot of awards things, people say, oh, I want to thank this person, that person, the other person. Um, I want to thank my makeup artist and my blah, 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 blah. Um, but I want to give a real thank you um, to somebody who deserves tons and tons of thanks and you don't hear from them all that often. I know lots and lots of horror stories of people. It's usually the guy who wants to stand up to tyranny and the woman holding him back. And I know a lot of very sad stories of how that's been the case. I think it's a safe bet. Almost none of you would know my name. And I probably wouldn't be alive today if not for my wife, Tessa, who's sitting in the like to try to do this on your own. I, it wouldn't have happened. Um, I could easily see getting frustrated and angry and having some confrontation with somebody and ending up dead. <laughs> All sorts of nasty ways it could have gone, uh, but to keep me even remotely close to being sane, and not to mention all the help she was on, on the iron web, she, she, not, she didn't just edit it, she, she put in a lot of it herself. Um, but it's I, really... I taught him to write. She did! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I write, she totally did. Because I would... I got to the point where I'd be writing and said, Oh, Tessa's gonna point out that I should have said it this way. And I got to where she was this voice inside my head. <laughs> but, uh... Really, yeah, I couldn't have accomplished anything. I think hardly anybody would know my name. Um, if not for this great person. Yay. Yay. Toastmasters. <laughs> He's a great speaker. He'll be phenomenal That's if he right. went the next step. <laughs> and we're ready for the next step. And the next step is to buy 50-50 tickets. Everybody got a 50-50 ticket? We're going to be doing the drawing after we're done with the Monty Awards here. And we're getting ready for the last two. Not just a Monty Award, but the Full Monty Award. And the person to award the last two awards is somebody who deserves an award himself. But he was on the committee who was appointing who was going to get the awards, so we weren't going to give him one. Instead, we gave him the premier position where he can deliver the final two. Monty Awards, the Monty Award, and the full Monty Award. This is a guy who deserves no introduction, so I'm not going to give him one. Because, you know, I'm wearing these badges. One says, opt out, you know. I, I know it was Rob who made the button, but it was somebody else who made it come to life. There's another one here, in the Fed. Somebody else who helped make it come to life. What else have I got? I got a Rob Paul button on my you hat here. You that. <laughs> All right. These are all Rob Peppy buttons, but that's all right. Because a person who is behind all of these things, one of the people, there's a lot of us behind all of it, one of the people behind it, again, the guy who needs no introduction, Mr. TSA himself. <laughs> no. Whoa. Mr. Not TSA. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming. It's great to see you here. We have a, an amazing community here. People think like, oh, you should move to New Hampshire. Free State Project. Uh-oh, -uh, no. -uh. This is it right here, okay? Yeah! We have a nice 
stunning community, and, and I love all of you. Thank you so much for, for being here and, and for kicking ass all year long. Uh, the, the Monty Award that I'm going to present is in the field of excellence and media domination. Yeah! And this, this is for Mr. Lou Jazikoff. Lou, and, Lou was a little bit frustrated about uh, the newspaper coverage he, the Libertarian candidates were receiving. So he started his own newspaper, the Wilkes-Barre Independent Gazette. He has a radio show called Sanity Check, okay, which, again, it's drive time. Between these two media outlets, he's calling out the bullshit in Wilkes-Barre, and, the, and the, the, the little entrenched t petty tyrants up there are freaking out, okay? <laughs> because he's not bought and paid for, and they don't have any idea how to handle the truth coming out. So this is an award for just literally being the media and so I want you, a round of applause for Lou Jackson oh, yeah. yeah. you know, it's not just a certificate it's an ounce of actual money here That's what's going on. Yeah. 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 let me check this out first Montgomery County, my favorite county outside of uh, Luzerne County. I've <laughs> been coming down here a long time. The libertarian way. Absolutely. Hey, listen, uh, the, the way this whole thing started was uh, was actually with Betsy Summers again. It was uh, during the mayoral campaign in Wilkes-Barre. And uh, we were running a three-way race. And um, the Republican candidate was without a doubt the worst candidate that was ever at the, on the media everywhere you look it was the worst candidate that they've ever run and, and that uh, said something well, well <laughs> at the end of the day we wound up getting 10 percent and uh in, in a three-way race and and we've run a number of races up in uh, uh northeast pennsylvania we've been averaging about 10 to 15 percent in three in three-way races okay not 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 if we run unopposed or something uh, after that, I was so frustrated. Uh, I, I came down, and I think it was in February, I was down at Christina and, and Jim Babb's place, and I said, listen, we gotta, we got to own the media. If you own the media, you own the message and the story. And, and that's what we started. I mean, we've been putting out some papers now. We, I'm telling you folks right now, we have the mainstream media on their heels. We, I, I can show you my emails right now coming, people from the prisons uh, uh, writing us. I mean, we have people on city council writing us. I mean, there is so much corruption going on all over the place. And unfortunately, the mainstream media just doesn't want to report it. And um, so we're really proud about what has happened. I mean, uh, here's a newspaper, one of the papers that we put out. Here's all five candidates that actually put in enough signatures to qualify for the presidential race. No place else you didn't see any, any newspaper, any media, anywhere. And what we do is we take these papers and we hand deliver them to everybody in Wilkes-Barre. Nice. And people know who we are. We're going to expand that. Hopefully uh, John DiLiberto's part of this, Betsy's part of it. We have a great, just like you guys have a great community down here. I mean, you guys see who you come down here. I've known Jimmy and, and, and Sheets and, 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 and Krawchuk and all you guys. Uh, uh, Schwarz, I mean, you guys have had a, a great little community here for a long time, and 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 because of Betsy, really, I mean, I don't know how it all happened, but you know, me and Betsy started it, and, and John, and we got we got a great community up there, and with that help, we're we're going to make we're going to make some serious changes, and all I could say is is that you know you own the media, you own the message, pick up the papers, look at what we're writing, you know, it's just not political stuff. We talk about jury nullification. We, we, I mean, we talk about stuff that nobody else, uh, the fe and the Fed, but we do it in ways that perhaps maybe everybody doesn't agree with, with us at, but at, at the end of the day, we're, we are spreading the message. People will pick up this paper, grandma and grandpa will pick this paper up, and they're gonna, be, they're gonna do, do, do the uh, crossword puzzle, they're gonna be reading about the benefits of cucumbers, and they're gonna read about what the Federal Reserve is. So that's it. That's it.
Okay. The final award is the full Monty. <laughs> Nothing says freedom like the full Monty. Yeah! And this is an award for somebody who has been an icon in the Philadelphia community and beyond. He, it continues to impress me. He's created a platform for so many other activists. He, he, he's not about promoting himself, but he's created opportunities to promote other people. And I'm talking about Mike Salvi. Yeah. show called Mike Salvi's World, but it's not about his world. It's a, he brings in activists from all over the place and he talks about their world, okay? So he, he's created this platform to amplify the work of other people, and, and that's spectacular. Okay, he's, he's done stuff with Truth, Freedom, Prosperity, which is probably the most yeah. successful... Successful libertarian organizations in this area in history ever. We're well, talking about hundreds nationwide. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about what, 800, 1,000? I don't know how many members this group has. Group. It's freaking it huge. It's, it's humongous. And again, it's a platform, okay? It's not about promoting Mike Salvi. It's not about promoting something. It's a, it's a, it's a platform to amplify the work that other people are doing, and it's absolutely spectacular. Okay, this deserves some recognition. He, when it comes to promoting events, Philly Freedom 2012, okay, in Philly, you know, this was going to be a huge event regardless of whether Ron Paul decided to show up, okay? He finally said, you know what, yeah, that's, that looks cool. You know, you guys are going to have a few thousand people. If Mike Salvi's running it, yeah, I guess I can show up. <laughs> Show up. All right, cool. All right. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's just one of the things. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, it's a privilege for me to work with Mike on any project. Next week we have the East Coast Bitcoin Summit. Yeah. yeah. Mike's the kind of guy I can say, yeah, hey, you know, I've got this idea. You know, what do you think? You know, he's like, yeah, that's right. Okay, he's in. You know, he just is like all in all the time. It's like, not only, you know, is he saying, yeah, sure, you know, I'll help you book it, we'll work it out. You know, he's promoting it, he's using his, his resources, his media that he has to, to make it a success. He always does that. And, um, you know, not to stroke his ego, because, you, know, you know, everybody Take loves Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> yeah. What else do we have? TFP Live. Okay. Yeah. is one of the most badass concepts in terms of promoting libertarian philosophy ever. You know, we've tried like, let's have a speaker. Let's bring in Larkin Rose, you know? Let's talk about libertarian philosophy. Now Mike's like, you know what, that's cool, but let's have some comedians and a band and a bar and a, we're gonna make this, we're gonna raise the roof and we're gonna make this fun as hell, okay? That's the Mike Salvi style, okay? So, TFP Live. Again, this is this is revolutionary for our movement. It's so much fun, so incredible, such a great opportunity for the activists and for the audience. And you know, it's just it deserves recognition. So, I want everybody to give a, a full round of applause for the full Monty Award. Appreciation, which isn't really worked that much. Right, Tim, who works for us? Give it up for Tim Matt.
<laughs> That's for later. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming out. Um, this is awesome. Thank you. I just, I, you know, um, you got me speech. The guy who can't shut up, you got me speech. <laughs> Thank you so much. I wish I had something prepared, but um, I did. No. Uh, this has really been an honor. It's, this is this is cool to hear. Hi, I didn't even know you were here. Hey, how you guys doing? Hey. All right, cool. Hey. Give it up for Nicole Prosser, who was on the podcast the other day. I really made sure that uh, that that the show that I created is not about me, which is why I called it Mike Salvi's World. So, <laughs> <laughs> not about me at all. Now you know what? It's just uh, it, it's really just a privilege to be among so many different types of people who don't wait for anybody. They don't wait for permission for anyone to do exactly what they want to do, and that's how this has all come together. You know, I, I appreciate you saying that Truth, Freedom, Prosperity is a platform because that's really what it is, and it's just a network of activists that are just absolutely amazing. Um, we have a little under 900 members. I think 870 something, whatever, whatever the hell the number is, it changes all the time. But it's just, uh, it, it's humbling, it's amazing to be a part of it all. And I get to meet the craziest people, the coolest people. You know, you guys all know we've met some really interesting folks that have come around us. Um, we've met some just, just really hardcore people who just love their lives, they love liberty. and. That's why it's so great to be amongst everybody. I'm just so excited to see everybody here. Like friggin' Steve Miller Miller's here. How friggin' cool. Woo! You know, it's a, uh, it, it's it's an honor to get this Full Monty Award. Like, <laughs> <laughs> to me, you know. Show. Um, we got the <laughs> Show the Full Monty. Show the Full Monty. There's children here. Um, you guys, anybody need a drink? Give it up for the for, for our yeah. waitress. Yeah. You know, the, the, the coolest thing about this is having the freedom to create. And that's really what we are as human beings, and that's what we are at, at our core is we're, we're creators. And that's what, uh, that's what TFP Live has, well, TFP has, has turned into something so much bigger than I ever imagined it would be. Uh, we decided to, to call the group Truth, Freedom, Prosperity, because I think it's safe to say that we all agree we all love truth. Don't lie to me. You know, just tell me the truth. I can handle it. Uh, freedom, we all love freedom, and we just want to prosper. So by opening the nets up and calling it that, that's what we... Uh, I don't know, it, it, it just seems to work. It, it's, it, it's opened the gates up and it's attracted a lot of different people. But there is, I, I appreciate this full Monty Award coming to me and, and all the accolades and everything, but it would absolutely be nothing. And I mean this, it would be nothing without everybody here. You know, Mike Heiss, you know, Steve Petrowski, Jim Babb, Jesus, you know, Larkin, my God, like, you know, the uh, Larkin Rose, I mean, give it up for Larkin. The, <laughs> level of influence that you've had that's trickled down to so many different uh, types of people is just amazing and I thank you for the fall that you've taken Tessa you too um, you know everybody that's, that's just come out and, and, and been a huge part of this I would be nothing without Rob Peppy I just, I, I love you to death. And I love you too, brother. I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. Because uh, I, I just know. I mean, it, like, this past five years of activism, and I say that with quotes because it doesn't feel like that. You know, we've done things our own way, and it's just been so amazing to see everybody come together. And all the different types of walks. Of, I mean, look, we've literally dealt with shit. You know, <laughs> that sucks. For anybody, literally, literally, for anybody that's been down at our Occupy tent, you know, somebody pooped in our tent. Like, I grew up in your tent. It was Steve Miller Miller. I love you for doing that. Thank you. You know, we've dealt with so much stuff. We've, we've put, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Well, somebody gave a shit. <laughs> you know, we've dealt with the political process, which at the at the core, most of us understand that it's a joke. Yeah, it really is. You know, I know that there's people that are running for office and have advocated for for different types of people or whatever for running for office, but we know at the core that it's 
That's not where the answer is. And the answer lies in every single person in this room. The answer lies in the other six, how, how many people are in this room? I don't know. All these other seven people that are out there. Somebody say 15 people. 50 people in the room. No, I meant like out there. But, uh, six billion. Six billion. Six billion. Six billion. Whatever. Cut. This is going crazy. This is nuts. Whatever the fuck. All those people out there. Um, that's where the answer lies, really. Because the, the example that everybody in this room gives to everyone else is where the real inspiration lies. And, you know, uh, by, by putting the podcast on, it's this has been like so much fun. TFP Live has been more fun. That's like been the most fun project I've ever worked on. <laughs> And it's just really cool to put that type of a platform out there. And I appreciate everybody that's that's contributed and, and been a part of this. And you know, I don't mind being the lightning rod once in a while, but I really wouldn't be doing anybody in the group uh, any type of injustice if I, I I can't name all 900 plus of you. But you guys are all incredible, and it's honestly an honor. I really appreciate it. I love you all. Let's have fun. And I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna As a delegate, oh, yeah. which is a lot of work. Yes. Yeah. yeah, a lot of work. Don't <laughs> Working within the system. Yeah. <laughs> Don't <All right>. nobody. <laughs> Woo! Again? Again. <laughs> All right, we're coming to the end of it, which means it's time for the 50-50. Yeah. Anybody gonna buy any last minute 50-50s? Oh come on! Last chance. Let's, Last chance. Last chance. All right, let's let's, let's get a pretty girl up here, Danielle. You, can talk you come to Danielle if you buy a ticket. Uh, uh, there you go. How often do you get to talk to a pretty girl? lady? Well, you're gonna get a chance to talk to someone like Danielle. Come on, you nerds. Mike left his award up here, but he didn't leave the silver up here. Goes to show for five FRNs. Five tickets for twenty FRNs. Three tickets for one Bitcoin. Eight tickets for one ounce of silver. Bring some real money up here. Come on. Let's do it. All right. Let's, let's get her up here. Let, let's do the drawing. Okay. <laughs> who does not have a who does not have a horse in the race? Somebody who can pick out the ticket. I know my wife has tickets, so I can't pick it. Lefty? Lefty's too fucking bored to buy tickets. Nah. <laughs> Dave, you don't have a ticket, do you? No. no? Anybody else in your car? All right, Lefty, come on up. All right. Danielle, let's. Oh, you just want to stand up here, Danielle? I understand. I understand. I'm sitting the fuck back then. Oh, come on back. You know, it's things like that that make this one of the safest rooms within miles around here. I always feel safer with libertarians armed around me than I do with police armed around me. Yeah! Right. You wouldn't say that if you ever saw me shoot. No. <laughs> I'll stand behind you. <laughs> All right! I got a drug. Dynamic duo? <laughs> Alright, one ticket? Yeah. Uh, one first. ticket. No. Drum roll. Knock that one. No, 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 no. That's not the one not that my wife had. That wouldn't be funny if she won. Sorry. Ken, yeah, that was mine. Sorry. Alright. You want to do it? Come on. <laughs> All right, ticket number 474470. Oh, right here? What's the pot What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Jim, how much is the pot? What? Nicole, how, how much? How much did she win? 400 ounces. Almost.
was a hundred dollars. Half a Bitcoin, and I think this is an ounce, so half an ounce. Oh, we so we've got what? Do you have a hacksaw? What? <laughs> well, well, silver. Somehow we'll figure silver it out, time. but it's about a uh, hundred bucks plus well, okay. half a Bitcoin and half an ounce of silver for the winner. Can you reread the numbers? Reread it one more time. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The numbers again. Shut up. <laughs> the number again is four seven four four seven zero. Nicole. Nicole. She paid you enough. That's all right by me. All right. Now we're gonna wrap up the formal part of the program right now. But before we do, thank you. You know, I look around the room and, and I said before that there are a lot of people here. This is the cream of southeastern Pennsylvania and a little bit beyond. Because we've got the chair of the Montgomery of the York County LP, Dave Moser, sitting here. Bitcoin and half an ounce of silver, which I will find a way to get to you somehow well, well, with an action. Give her the ounce. Give her the whole ounce. Give her the whole ounce, Jim. Yeah. The whole ounce. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to her talk. I'm too short for wine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll say it again. Is there a good cause for this to be donated to? I don't know. Is there? Well, donate it to yourself. That's a good no, I mean, it's, it's not really. I'm Capitalism. Not, it's up to you. I'm not into yeah. taking. I thought if I ever want, I would give it back to some of the It's the it's 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 Give it to the panic hours. Give it to the panic hours. How about these guys? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. What, 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 what's too many. All the favor of the world. Yeah! All the favor of these schmucks. Keep it! All in favor of Nicole Prosser. This is for you to do with whatever you want. Yeah! You gotta love libertarians, man. They always take it personally. <laughs> so as I was saying, we have a bunch of, of other stars here who did not quite get Manji Awards this year. And I mentioned Dave Moser, York County, and his right-hand man, Lefty. <laughs> who else we got? Oh man, the guy who ran for mayor of Philadelphia, who used, who was the Libertarian Party candidate for U.S. Senate in 2000, John Famularo. <laughs> John Who else? Mr. Campaign for Liberty, Ken Fitchner. Where'd you go? He's not even in the room. Ken, yeah. where'd you go? I got to see you. There he is. He's standing there. Mike Selby separated at birth. Twin, Rob Pepe. Who else? There's just so many people here. You know, the people who helped us shut down. DUI checkpoint. I, you know, I'm looking around the room. Chuck Moulton in the back, former vice chair of the National Libertarian Party. And, and there are just so many more of us. But you know, it, that's what defines the libertarian movement. We are in favor of the ultimate minority, the individual. That's right. But in order to make 
liberty happened in our lifetimes, I will quote one of the best libertarians I ever met, Dick Body from California. He had the mantra of the grassroots activist. It's easy to remember, 10 words, two letters each. If it is to be, it is up to us. It's not just up to us who've been in this a long time, it's also for the up and coming libertarians. Like our 17 year old advocate libertarian in the back, Yvonne, raise your hand. And also the generation to come in, and I'm thinking of the poor girl who has had her mind twisted with libertarian thoughts as she was born. And that would be none other than Dorothy Beck. If it is to be, it is up to us. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the rest of the evening, and remember, it's up to us. Thank you for coming. Thank <laughs> you.